Okay, let's do one other implicit differentiation problem. Let me define this function. Now this is basically an equation. Okay. Now in some cases you can actually you know rewrite the equation in the form y equals to f of x. And in some cases you just cannot. Okay. Now here it's it's quite clear that y is defined implicitly and we need to apply implicit differentiation. So let me just start differentiating both sides of the given equation. Okay, The derivative of x squared is 2x since I'm differentiating with respect to x. Now the derivative of y cubed. Now don't forget that y changes with x. Okay, y is still a function of x. So 3y squared but since we're not differentiating with respect to y, we're differentiating with respect to x, and y changes with respect to x, you have dy over dx. Just assume that this is f of x cube, okay? That's what y cube is, right? So what would the derivative be? It would be 3f of x squared, and of course, f dash x. So that's exactly what I've written there, okay? Equals, now on the right, we have 1 over x plus y, okay, that's the derivative of the log, times, now the derivative of this thing inside the log, okay, applying the chain rule, the derivative of x with respect to x is 1, and the derivative of y with respect to x, simply dy over dx, right? Okay, now what I want is that I want to find dy over dx. So let me get all the terms which have dy over dx on one side and all the other terms on the other side, okay? Okay, got this from here equals dy over dx. Okay, this was already there on the right. And I got this negative 3y squared from the left, okay? So dy over dx would simply be this thing over this whole thing, okay? So that makes it this. Take away 3y squared. That's your answer. Okay, another example of implicit differentiation.